world-changing agreement, for better or worse. Critics say this still is just delaying the inevitable. They say Iran will get nuclear weapons. Supporters say this will prevent Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons. So a lot to talk about here, and for that I want to bring in Bobby Ghosh, CNN Global Affairs Analyst and Managing Editor with Quartz. So Bobby, first off, I was just reading your article. You, in your view, think that Iran is the big winner here. So does that mean that the U.S. is on the losing end of it? Well, Iran is unquestionably the big winner. Look at the look at where the fireworks are going off. They're not there are no fireworks going off in Washington, in London, in Berlin, not even in Moscow and in Beijing. The P5 plus one countries that negotiated with Iran are expressing quiet satisfaction. Iran, on the other hand, boisterous celebrations. They are far and away the winners. The United States has the United States won. That's not yet clear. The best case scenario is yes. The best case scenario is that 10 years from now, Iran decides on its own that it does not want to pursue nuclear weapons. Then we could say, well, this was this is a big victory for the U.S. There are other questions here. Uh, there will be an economic windfall here for Iran. What does the Iranian government do with all this money? Billions of dollars, right? What are they going to do with this money? Are they going to continue to sponsor terrorism in other countries? Some of those terrorist groups uh, have not targeted us and, recently, and but have in the past and might again in the future. So we don't yet know whether the U.S. has won. That's to be seen. It is unquestionable that Iran has definitely won. Also yet to be 